Did you know Google Cloud's Vertex AI supports many different machine learning frameworks and open source projects, such as TensorFlow, Spark, XGBoost, and PyTorch? PyTorch, now part of the open source PyTorch Foundation, is one of the fastest growing frameworks in the community. ML practitioners using PyTorch tell us that sometimes it can be challenging to advance their ML projects past experimentation. Vertex AI is a fully managed ML platform that provides the tools you need to train, scale, and deploy PyTorch models. For example, you can use the PyTorch deep learning containers, or the Vertex AI Workbench PyTorch kernel as a consistent environment for experimentation and model training. And with the TorchX adapter, you can orchestrate TorchX components as part of Kubeflow pipelines that you can run on Vertex AI pipelines. If you need to scale your workloads, you can use the XLA Deep Learning Compiler to run PyTorch on cloud TPUs, which are custom accelerators designed to run large ML workloads. Finally, with Google's OSS contributions to Apache Beam, we've made PyTorch models easy to deploy in batch or stream data processing pipelines. Running on Dataflow, these pipelines will scale to large workloads in a fully managed environment. So let's jump in and see how to operationalize PyTorch on Google Cloud with Vertex AI. We'll fine tune a hugging face transformer for sentiment analysis using PyTorch. To automate this workflow, we'll orchestrate the pipeline in a serverless manner using Vertex AI pipelines. We'll start by navigating to Workbench in the Vertex AI section of the Cloud Console. Vertex AI Workbench is the place to go in Google Cloud if you want to work in a notebook. So if you're already using notebooks, this environment will feel familiar. You can create a new notebook or open up an existing notebook instance in your project. We can create a new PyTorch notebook and use this environment for experimentation. But when it's time to operationalize, you're probably going to need something more than a notebook. You can use Vertex AI pipelines in combination with other Vertex AI services to orchestrate and automate your workflows and store any associated metadata. You can customize the hardware profile of the compute jobs you run, including adding GPUs and TPUs, all without having to worry about managing the underlying infrastructure. The code in this notebook defines a pipeline that trains a text classifier and then deploys the trained model to a Vertex AI endpoint for low latency serving. This pipeline uses a combination of pre-built and custom components. We can compile the pipeline, then submit the job using the Vertex AI Python SDK, and track the progress in the UI. Vertex AI Pipelines automatically logs metadata using the Vertex ML metadata service to track artifacts, lineage, metrics, visualizations, and pipeline executions across your workflows. So if we examine our pipeline, we can see that it ran a custom training job on the Vertex AI training service. The model is then conditionally deployed to an endpoint only if the evaluation accuracy is above a certain threshold. Navigating to the Vertex AI model registry, which is a repository where you can manage the life cycle of your models, we can see our PyTorch model and endpoint. Once deployed, we can hit our endpoint like any other REST endpoint to get low latency predictions on the fly. We hope you're inspired to start using Vertex AI to elevate your ML models out of experimentation and into production. To try this pipeline out for yourself, be sure to check out the notebook linked below. And definitely let us know what you're building on Vertex AI.